guys, what's going on? It's Joe from GadgetryTech.com and today we're going to talk about the Kensington SD5300T docking station. The T stands for Thunderbolt. This box that you see if you're looking at everything in front of you, that's the 5350T. They are identical docking stations. The 5350 does not come with the USB-C to HDMI adapter. The 5300T does. Now the 5300T sells for about $235 on the Kensington, Kensington store as of July 2020 on Amazon right now, which is a different supplier, of course, or vendor, um, the 5350 without the adapter is 300. So the, the, you're actually better off going to the Kensington store and buying the 5300 directly because you get the HDMI adapter um, and you save money. So it's kind of a win-win. Anyway, with that being said, I'm really, really excited about this dock. And I'm not just saying that because this was sent to me for review. Um, I reviewed the Kensington 5200 last year and it was a really good docking station. It was basically my second favorite of the year of all the ones I covered. This thing is easily the best docking station I've ever covered and there's a lot of reasons why. They addressed a lot of concerns as far as not having enough ports. The cords are longer, the build quality is better. I, know, I don't have any more display connection issues. With the old dock, when I first attached an external display, it didn't always initialize correctly. This one's flawless, guys. So. Um, with that being said, let's talk about specs. So what you can see on the front, and I'm going to try to put this up on the screen here, and if it's not easily uh, easy to see, we will uh, blow it up for you and you can see it. So there are a couple lights. One, you have the green light that's indicating power uh, right here on the front. You have the blue light, and that indicates that you have a connection to the host. So basically your Thunderbolt connection that's included to the laptop is active. Now the Thunderbolt 3.0 cable that they give you is two feet long, which is good. Some docks only give you 18 inches. That's a huge pain because it forces you to put the laptop in a very specific spot. Uh, two feet is better. I wish it was a little longer, um, but this is uh, the same or better than what most vendors give you. So uh, it's a good cable. The quality of the cable is excellent. Uh, going back to the front, this is where the additions start getting awesome. So there is a UHS SD card reader built in a lot of new laptops do not have a card reader anymore and if you're dealing with an external card reader that's just another USB slot being taken up. Now a lot of USB card readers put the memory card on the side so even though it may not seem like much you're basically killing one side of a USB port if they're all adjacent to each other. It's little things like that that quickly eat up ports and usability of a docking station. I love that there's a UHS reader built in. It's not the fastest possible reader out there, but it does support 500, uh, 105 megabytes per second, not bits. So the transfer speeds are still excellent. Most people would find that very serviceable and usable every day without needing to use an adapter. Now you get two USB 3.0 or 3.1 ports up front, which gives you five gigabits per second per port. That is way better than the standard 3.0. So if you start using external hard drives or external SSDs, now you can benefit from even greater speeds. The other thing I want to point out, the USB port right next to the SD adapter or SD reader uh, is a quick charge, um, fast charge uh, compliant charger. So it's basically, it's over two amps of power uh, that support 2.1 amps for your mobile device. Now it's not quick charge compliant, like QC 3.0 compliant, so it's not going to rapid charge your phone. However, the 2.1 adapter speed or output speed is excellent because that can um, charge an iPhone much faster, it can charge tablets, whatever device you have will still charge much quicker on that port. The only nitpick I have is they don't clearly label that. There's no like fast charge logo or anything weird that kind of makes it jump out. They look identical, but the only port on this entire docking station that has the 2.1 amp USB out is this one, the one closest to your card reader. The next one is still just as fast, it's USB 3.1. Um, so you get the transfer speeds, but it's more your traditional one app. Now, this is a headphone combo jack. It's not just a headphone jack. So if you have a chat headset that has a mic built in, any ch a headset that has the three bands or any standard stereo headset like the, um, the Hi-Fi Mendevas I have here uh, will work on this, no problem. I tested headphones because <clears throat> a lot of docs or external devices, if you do, they're not, it's not like it's an audio device, right? So you kind of expect poor quality. I wanted to make sure there was no interference or hums or really weak output. This has the exact same output as this uh, Dell workstation or the precision laptop that I have. So you're not sacrificing quality, but then again, you get the convenience. So this is what I was talking about. A lot of good ports and useful ports are on here. 
I got no interference, no issues, the sound was relatively flat, so this works perfectly. So going on to the back of the unit, I, there's a lot uh, more good stuff to come. There are three USB 3.1 jacks on the back, and the reason why I like this, the old one didn't have enough USB ports. Um, when you start connecting a mouse, a hard drive, um, <clears throat> a, a flash drive on top of it, a USB headset maybe, there's a lot of things that start taking up space. If you use a, a separate mouse and keyboard and you like the hardwired approach, there's two USB ports gone right off the bat. So I love that you get five USB ports on this, and again, they're all USB 3.1. Um, so you get the really fast speeds. Now, moving over, this is to be expected and uh, it's in a good spot, it's right in the center. It's a gigabit ethernet port, so you get the full uh, gigabit uh, connections depending on your supporting network, of course. At least we know this won't be an issue. I haven't seen a dock ship with a 10100 in a long time, so that's pretty standard. Um, the next port is the USB-C output, I'd say, I'd call it. Um, the USB-C uh, port that you see here is for an external monitor or a USB-C compliant device if you have a USB-C cable. So at least they give you that. It's a 15 watt output, so it's not used to power certain things like another laptop, you can't charge it. Um, but if you use the included adapter, you can actually run a 5K monitor at 60 frames a second or 60 hertz, I should say, uh, using these outputs, which is great. The next USB-C port is your Thunderbolt connection that's what you want connected to your laptop now what's really cool about this this has um, PD 3.0 60 watt output so if your workstation or laptop can be powered by 60 watts through USB-C if it supports charging through that that means you can essentially have a single Thunderbolt cable connected to your laptop and everything else goes into this work um, you know docking station so again a lot of connections, tons of ways you can use this device. I think the form factor and, and finish is excellent and it can charge your laptop. So if for any reason that's not enough power, it's not like this cable won't work, you'll just want to power your laptop with an external power supply. Um, the other plug I want to talk about is the uh, HDMI output on here. It's HDMI 2.0 so it will support 4K at 60 um, or you know if you're doing a single monitor you can do 5K at 60. This allows you to do two 4K monitors at 60 hertz, which is great. So uh, if your machine supports two external monitors, that'll run no problem. You may have to disable your primary display on the laptop because some laptops don't like more than two. Uh, but anyway, the other things I want to point out, I talked about power cord length or cable length. I love that this is two feet long. The power cord on this is another improvement. They literally addressed anything I ever had on a nitpick with a docking station. So it is a five foot long power cord going from the brick to this. So this cable right here, the little barrel connection is five feet long. Um, the other side of the cable is six feet long. So basically with that being said is you get 11 feet of cable length from the outlet to this device. Most devices have given you like five to seven feet. It really limits how far you can place this from a plug. So they were not cheap at all with the cable length on either the Thunderbolt or the power. So again, form factor is excellent. I've had zero bugs. Um, as you can see, I'm connected to this uh, BenQ. This is the new EW3270Q, uh, 3280Q. Uh, it's a new 4K monitor from BenQ and I wanted to test it because the picture quality is phenomenal and we wanted to push it. There are no artifacting issues. I had no uh, lag. As you can see here, if I'm moving stuff around, it's probably looking identical to the screen. I've tested this extensively and I haven't had any issues. You cannot tell it's connected through a docking station. You think it's a native display. So <clears throat> with that being said, the other thing I wanted to point out, because this can be a concern with some docks, they may not always have the strongest uh, USB uh, ports on them and it has trouble spinning some inefficient mechanical hard drives. Um, every USB port here powered up a two and a four terabyte external portable drive, which can be a little heavy and some ports struggle with. So power output is excellent, performance is excellent, um, it's super stable, and again, I love that they give you long cables, all this flexibility. The last thing I want to point out, this is kind of a signature thing with Kensington, it does still have the security slots on the side. It supports the T-Bar, the traditional Kensington security slot, and the Kensington Nano, so they give you both. Underneath the unit, there are two screw holes. Now, it's VESA, they say this is VESA mountable. It does not come with that plate in the box. 
So you cannot just buy this and base mount it behind a screen, unfortunately. They do sell the adapter online, so you can buy a base mount uh, if you want to mount it up behind a screen. Again, guys, um, I hope this covered your concerns with this. It, it has five USB ports, a really good headphone jack, the traditional uh, ethernet, of course. SD card reader was finally added, I love that. Uh, power supply is huge. It's a 135 watt power supply with a 60 watt PD delivery to your laptop. USB-C output, which if you buy the 5300 T-Dock, you get the adapter included. And I just think it's an amazing device. This also isn't too heavy or, or bulky either. They really jammed so much into this tiny dock considering how much capability you have. So um, I can't recommend it enough. I, I've covered probably like six or seven docking stations in the past couple years, and this is cream of the crop. Um, again, I'm not just saying that. So guys, I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment below. I'm always happy to help. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of great stuff. We keep cranking out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.